So I'm here in the Yorkshire Dales, considering what the Yorkshire Dales used to look like uh, and how they might be restored. And I'm here with Tom Lord, archaeologist and farmer. So Tom, so what do you think this landscape used to look like? Well, there is evidence from historical documents of um, wood pasture on, on the higher ground in the Yorkshire Dales. And this is a small restoration project to make us think about wood pasture, uh, where we've introduced trees uh, into what was open grassland. Uh, and what we're trying to do is make us really think about upland wood pasture and the farming systems that supported it. And so, so, so what do you think, what, what do you think the farming management used to look like? Um, well, less intensive than uh, today. It would involve most likely the seasonal movement of livestock, cattle and sheep. And that might involve people staying here for part of the year, part of the um, summer, and maybe also processing some products such as um, milk into cheese and butter. So it's a busy landscape. It's not a, um, an open, unvisited landscape. It's actually a busy landscape. And, and I guess what's very different is when we think about hay meadows, we think about pure hay meadows and nothing else. And then we think of trees in woods. And what you're saying is it's quite possible that there's much more of um, an intimate mix, rather like, because they're Scandinavian systems that are like well, this, aren't they? Most likely very mixed. And also with more woodland trees such as hazel around, more potential to make uh, wooden fencing to fence off small areas to manage them more intensively within an open landscape, but an open landscape in which you have uh, both shrubs and trees. Rather different to lowland um, wood pasture, wood pasture uh, and lacking the historic historical documentation that we have for lowland wood pasture and also lacking the survival. Uh, so in a way we're very much at the edge of our understanding with upland wood pasture. But it is something to think about and possibly something to build into future upland management programs. And you're planting with these um, extraordinary um, uh, tree guards here. Tell us about these what are these? What, what do you call these? This system is called the Cactus Tree Guard System and it's actually Spanish. Uh, and these come as flat sheets, they've got prickles, spikes. They're and these, vicious, yeah. These are protecting the shrubs, shrubs and trees from grazing because what we want to do here is not shut this area off from grazing. We want to graze it, but at the same time we want to have some regeneration of shrubs and, uh, and trees and all the time as I say think about what wood pasture might involve in the uplands. And including I see over there uh, the, you've got some gorse that's you must be the only farmer that's planting gorse what's going on there? Well historically the area here is the gorse scar we've got that in medieval documents a scar or cliff or rocky ground where gorse is growing and the name of the farm is Windskill, and the first element, Win, is Scandinavian for gorse. So we've got this evidence of, of, of a presence of gorse here, and I like to think, well, let's bring it back and consider what gorse might have been used for. And we know it was used as a fuel. It gives a very hot uh, fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it's used as an, as an animal food. Uh, it could be crushed and, 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 and fed to livestock. So it's just to make us think about these different uses of uh, shrubs and trees in wood pasture. So I guess what, what I imagine this is going to look like is we're going to have clumps of trees and clumps of bushes, and then you're going to have some hay meadows, and then you're going to have some grazing that takes place. So what's, what sort of, what, what, what's the advantage of that, do you think? Well, it's making diversity on a small scale and 
things are butting up to each other and we've got edges uh, and we've characteristically got plants and shrubs associated with woodland edge which is largely something missing in the very open landscape today of the Yorkshire Dales. So your bluebells and things like that that we're looking well, at? we've got woodland indicator species and in the meadows we find um, species that would be at home in woodland edges. So this woodland edge in the past would have been a very important uh, and um, rather commonplace habitat. So, so let's try and put a bit more of it back in. Is that, and, I, and this is really fascinating and, I, and we hear so much about lowland wood pasture so to hear about upland wood pasture seems a really visionary way of going ahead. Well it's also very lovely, it's also very lovely and hopefully it will attract a fauna that maybe isn't uh, present uh, at the moment and as I say it's very much an experiment uh, and something that does start to make us think about upland wood pasture which is something which really wasn't even considered important a few years ago so it is coming on board. Fascinating I hope to hope to come back and see that in the Thank future you. that's 